terrible situations before. Check our history. Please don't begin with the Fourth Republic or the struggle for independence, although these are also important milestones. Go hundreds of years back. In those hard times, our forefathers and our foremothers too did not throw up their arms in despair. They fought back. They resisted. They sacrificed. They persevered. They brought back hope when there was none. They picked up the pieces of a broken people and carefully and strategically sold them back. And they left for us a legacy of selflessness, of true patriotism and pride. It is our responsibility today to leave something better for the next generations. Giving up is not an option. We must all soldier on. Across the political divide, across social and professional groupings, among the youth, you hear complaints and stories concerning state capture, where this government has chosen to use its power not in the broader interest of all Ghanaians, but to favor a small clique. What is that? John <laughs> and I have agreed that whoever has participated in the plunder of the state must be held accountable. Fought on the grounds of food, 
shelter, space, even calendar, teaching and learning materials. Or those who spend a couple of weeks in school and many months at home, just idling by. You will not find past questions instead of textbooks and science equipment. You will not find an atmosphere that suppresses learning. You will not find free water and electricity to a few that has turned out to be most expensive for everyone. Such a report will not find COVID money shared for partisan political...